Hi, this is uh, MXUX. I just want to go over this. You know, is uh, Lordstown Motors uh, becoming a political football? So, uh, on July 2, right before the long weekend, uh, the Wall Street Journal, of course, uh, made an announcement that the Department, yes, the Department of Justice in Manhattan is investigating Lordstown Motors. No, no, uh, no um, background on what exactly is happening. It's just that they are investigating it. So, great to have that happen and have this blurb come out on July 2, okay, right before the long weekend, where no one's going to hold the stock over the long weekend with this coming out. And it's a nothing report, uh, but of course, the Wall Street Journal. Now, in addition to this, noteworthy options on Friday. This is Lordstown Motors, July 2, $9 strike price, 10,000 contracts, fat, fantastic amount. So, you know. Is there a leak? Uh, are they playing inside baseball on Wall Street? Duh. Uh, maybe the Department of Justice needs to investigate this. I mean, anyway, this is it just seems to me to be such a setup uh, and a way to uh, take this stock price down going into the holiday weekend. It's so obvious. And, uh, you know, who leaked it? That's what I want to know. Now, I am going to assume this is over the uh, the orders, okay? The, you know, the misstatements about orders from Steve Burns. You know, uh, well, they're not pending. They're confirmed. You know, we all have been through this. I don't think there's a there there. I think they're really parsing things out. And there's no intent to sell. I just want to make one thing clear. Steve Burns is the largest stockholder in this company. He didn't sell out. So he didn't pump and dump. Okay. To the best of my knowledge. So now here is, this is the president of Lordstown Motors. Uh, and uh, Schmidt right here, June 15th, totally backing up what uh, Burns said. We have enough orders for production of 21 and 22. Binding orders that were committed here in the last two weeks. These fleets are not going to wait around to buy these trucks. This is basically what Burns said. I mean, you know, they shut him up and they pillared a retraction on this because they're under invest. They're under the boot of the SEC and the and the DOJ now. But both of these, th this guy's a professional. You think he's going to make this up? Really? Are you kidding me? Twenty-one and two years of production. He's going to fabricate that. It's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, the, the, the point is, this is with the DOJ. Why don't they, like I say right here, why don't they just let them launch and see if they have the orders or not? And then if there's no orders, then they got an investigation. If they got orders, the whole thing's moot. I don't understand it. They're driving the stock down. I mean, it looks to me like Wall Street and big business has twisted some arms at the federal government, and they're they're taking this whole thing to the next level. And you know, I got Jack Ma Alibaba down here. You know, Jack Ma was removed uh, by the CCP from, well, not removed, but retired from Alibaba. And you know, American business, uh, you know, they, you know, the the press were commenting on how terrible we're doing the same thing to Steve Burns. Okay, in my opinion. I mean, uh, uh, it's ridiculous. Anyway, moving on from this. So, okay, everything conveniently launched, uh, said, released at the exact right time to damage the stock the most, put options in place. Steve Schmidt has confirmed the orders. Why don't they just let the... Okay, we've been through this before. Now, this is... Uh, Eloise, uh, he just uh, put this out. Uh, Elon Musk, and I'm going to pause his video. I don't want to rip him off here. I just wanted to, he's got 
the tweet here. What we've all seen. Of we're adding rear wheel steering to the Cybertruck. All right. And by the way, this is a great channel. I watch it. Uh, he's got, he's a very good uh, reporter and I do like very much what he does. Anyway, I'm just uh, stealing this tweet from him. I encourage you to check this out for all your uh, Tesla news. He's great. Anyway, they're going to have rear wheel steering. What did I say about independent rear suspension? I've been saying this right along. I saw pictures of the uh, Cybertruck with a solid rear axle. I couldn't attribute them to anyone or any date. I don't know if they're real or not. But the point is, this is a 20 foot long truck. And they, they, under these conventional drive methods, when you have the axles, you have the CV points, you have the, the drive shafts and so forth, it limits the way, how far uh, the wheels can turn mechanically because they have to make that mechanical connection with the motor, which is inside, and the wheels are on the outside, okay? And this, is, this cyber truck is 20 feet long. They have to have more maneuverability to back this thing into a charger or whatever. It won't fit in a normal garage. But the point is, I think they also are doing this so they can put a solid rear axle in this truck. And uh, I just want to say, all you guys that ordered a cheap cyber truck, I don't think you're going to get it for a long time. This is going to increase. This is going to be a massive increase in production costs. They're going to have to re-engineer that. They're, they're probably going to put a solid axle in. They're going to have all these steering components uh, for the rear motor version. They're going to have to have drive shafts, so on and so forth, CV joints. It is going to dink uh, their low-cost models. Perhaps the low-cost models won't have this in it. But I think you guys that ordered the, the low-cost uh, cyber trucks might be a long time before you get them, especially with this development. This is going to add another level of complexity. What? 300 parts, 500 parts, whatever, to the truck. Now, I just want to go over uh, the endurance and why it's a better engineered vehicle. Double Decker Dream is a guy who's doing videos out at Lordstown. He had a he had a van parked out there, and he had a drone, and he was he shot a lot of great 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 video. And uh, this is one of his videos here, and uh, I'm just going to go to it real quick. And uh, let me turn this off here. I just want to show. Here it is. Look at these serpentine turns. Can you see how the cyber truck, you see how small the turning radius is? That's because, look at this. This is because, and they aren't even trying here. This is because the, uh, I'm going to shut that off now. Uh, check out Double Decker Dream. Very good. Uh, that's because the motors are in the wheels. There aren't uh, CV joints and universal joints constricting the movement of the wheels. Those wheels can turn more. The front wheels can turn. The steering wheels can turn more. When you're in the Cybertruck, when they've got all this mechanical apparatus connected to the wheels, it limits how much they can turn. That's one reason. Wait till they put the torque vectoring on the Endurance. It will even be more agile. So, all, and it has a solid rear axle already. It's just a better engineered vehicle. I'm sorry. I like uh, Tesla, I'm a Tesla fan, but I'm just saying, as pickup trucks go, I think Tesla is a whole nother uh, type of vehicle. It's a whole new class of vehicle. I don't believe it's a pickup truck. I think the Endurance is the best engineered electric pickup truck, the only one right now. Uh, Rivian, I just wanna just give an update on Rivian. This is the Ford backed. This is from June 1, but the point is, they're supposed to be delivering in July. They've, they've uh, delayed it again. They have four motors on each wheel, at least on their high-end model. I'm sure they're facing the same kind of problems that uh, the Endurance is, uh, that the Cybertruck's facing. Again, they have inline motors, they have drive shafts, they have CV joints that limits the amount those wheels can steer. Uh, they have torque vectoring, but it's mechanical torque vectoring, the, which is slower to respond and 
more clunky than the electronic torque vectoring and the endurance. Again, a better engineered truck. And again, this also does not have a solid rear axle. I think that's part of the problem they're having there too. But again, this is the Ford back. Again, delayed again. And they do not want this endurance to come out. Okay. Now, we have here uh, the Manhattan DA uh, charges Trump. Now, this is, uh, I just want to pause this video. I don't want this to play. Uh, we got the Manhattan DA all over Trump. Uh, evidently, he avoided some uh, federal charges because of uh, being president. I'm not political. My political views are off the spectrum. I think we should be uh, releasing uh, information on UFO technology and putting it into electric vehicles. That's where I'm at. So I'm off the spectrum. Anyway, the point is the Manhattan DA is all over Trump. They're trying to flip the CFO. They want to get him again. The feds uh, were looking into this. So it's uh, get shorty, get, get Trump. They're after him in New York City. Uh, the political machine, I think, in America is after Trump. Um, seems like they want to cripple any future political aspirations he may have. Be that as it may, again, I don't have a dog in this fight. This is not a political uh, channel. But this is what's coming out of Manhattan. Wall Street Journal's out of Manhattan. These stock, I mean, here's the thing. This is a review of the Lordstown, in, uh, I mean the, excuse me, workhorse truck. This is the endurance. This is the endurance before it was the endurance. This is that workhorse. I'm just making a point here. This is from 2017. The review is from 2017. Steve Burns was working on on the workhorse long before i mean uh, the point i'm making here is this was in development long before donald trump ran for president became president or anything else okay now the, where, where donald trump did get involved is again and this is may 2019 he jawboned uh, general motors shut down this lordstown plant and Evidently, Trump got on the phone and got Mary Barra and told her of whatever and uh, got him to uh, sell this plant. Trump was deeply involved. Uh, you see, this is from Trump, blah, blah, blah. Great news for Ohio. Uh, Donald Trump, this is uh, May 8, 2019. Okay. And uh, so Trump had his fingerprints all over Lordstown, the Lordstown plant to workhorse. Okay. So... Donald Trump was all over this uh, new, newly formed entity led by Steve Burns. So he's taken the uh, let's see electric pickup truck likely to be the extended range pickup in two, so, so 2016. So the point is, and it was in development long before that. Burns had this going way before any of this happened. Now I think it's a very interesting story how Trump got involved in this, why Trump got involved in this, how Workhorse got involved in this. Did Trump see a blurb on TV about this plant closing and decide to do something? Is there some relationship? I have done background work on Steve Burns. I found absolutely no political commentary from him whatsoever. I don't, I don't believe he's political. Maybe someone can find that. I don't believe he's connected in any way to the Trump organization why this truck was picked and why you know this may all be a political effort on trump's point but the point is trump's fingerprints are all over this it doesn't mean it's a bad idea and it doesn't mean it's not a good use of resources and it doesn't doesn't mean that it's not going to give us a lead in the ev market but uh the thing is is this is this turning into a political football are they now now these guys out. in manhattan okay the manhattan da was going after trump they got they're going after all his people they were going to do federal charges they couldn't get federal charges because trump was president so on and so forth 
Now these same uh, now the Department of Justice in Manhattan is investigating Lordstown Motors. I don't know why. What's the link? You know, is it Trump? Is Trump the link? I don't know. Is this turning into a political football? I don't, I don't know. I'm I'm beginning to think it is. Uh, and again, this is an article, really good article from the from the. Uh, uh, and, uh, the uh, Guardian. Now, this is the state attorney general in New York. So, blah, blah, blah. They, they couldn't get... Uh, we have informed the Trump winner that our investigation is no longer purely civil in nature. So, they're going after criminal charges in New York uh, uh, on the Trump organization. Trump. Are they... And the Department of Justice, which is federal, is looking into Lordstown. Are they going to criminalize... Uh, Burns? I mean, is this turning into a, you know, you know, get shorty situation where, you know, they don't, they don't want uh, uh, Trump to have any uh, victories in this? I don't know. It looks like it to me. I don't, I personally, I just want to see the truck made. I, I, I don't care about any of this. And again, what we've got involved now investigating Lordstown is the U.S. Department of Justice. These guys don't fool around. When they open a case, they generally prosecute and they generally win. They win 90% of their cases. So they're going to criminalize some activity at Lordstown probably or want to. Uh, and it's likely to be these orders or so forth. And they, they But... Uh, it looks like they're going to go after Steve Burns, in my opinion. I think it was sad. Now, I just want to make a point. First of all, they're talking about pump and dump. I don't know if I went over here. The uh, Yeah, Steve, I just want to mention this. If I didn't mention it before, mention it again. Steve Burns totally reiterated what, uh, I mean, the president, uh, Schmidt, reiterated exactly what Burns said. You know, evidently they don't want to let him make the trucks because they don't want to be proven wrong. I don't know. I don't know if this is true or not. But anyway, the point is, there seem to be a lot of uh, similarities here. Now, I just want to go over uh, the final statement on this. Um, the insider selling. Now, I did a thing uh, in a couple of videos ago about the insider selling uh that took place at Lord Motors. these guys you know the top executives there you got to realize they took a high risk position sure they got paid but they got families they got kids in college they got homes to pay for when this uh the postal contract did not go through for workhorse this was a big blow, I think, to both Ride and Workhorse stocks because the companies are so closely linked. Workhorse owns 10% of Ride, and uh, I'm sure that the Workhorse vehicles were going to be, uh, the postal vehicles were going to be built at Lordstown. And when that deal didn't go through, and I think that had a lot to do with Lordstown bringing up the uh, high top fan. When that didn't go through, uh, it reverberated uh, throughout everything and uh i think a lot this was my rationale for a lot of the insiders that sold uh because they you know like i said they gotta they got things to pay for they're insiders they did it publicly it was all above board but i believe that was the motivation i don't think it was any pump and dump scheme over the sales figures or anything else i think in my opinion but i just wanted to reiterate on this uh, not only did the insiders sell, Kathy Woods, ARK Invest, uh, 1.5 million. I don't even think this is the total amount she sold. They bought so much workhorse. They bought it all the way up, all the way up. And I think that um, you can see here uh, where they're at, workhorse right here. But it was in several of her funds. And... When uh, they did not get the postal contract, Kathy Wood sold everything in two days. Massive loss. So 
wasn't just insiders that sold. It was outsiders that sold on that news. I mean, you know, you can investigate it. These are the sorts. I don't have access to all the insider sales and everything. I don't have that capability. In my opinion, if somebody has a better explanation, they can uh, uh, put it in the comments. But I would just like to add on to this that uh, at the same time these guys were selling this and all this was happening, the board of directors gave Steve Burns a massive gift of stock that uh, actually made him the majority holder in the company. And I don't believe he has sold that stock. Uh, after that, they dismissed him. But, you know, again, this statement over sales, which is, you know, is this Jack Ma all over again? Is this turning super political? I don't know. You guys, uh, you can let me know in the comments what you think. I think it's turning into a political football. I think it's damned to torpedoes at Lordstown Motors. I do believe that Schmidt is going to drive, uh, hit the home run like Babe Ruth, and they are going to get the trunk lo uh, the truck off in September, uh, no matter what. And um, I think that uh, this is turning into a political, it's becoming political in my opinion, uh, or there's a political taint to it, let's put it that way. And um, I don't know, I think if they, if they allow this to come to fruition, this production, I think Steve Burns is probably going to be true, proven to have told the truth or very much the truth, very nearly the whole truth. Perhaps, you know, as I mentioned in one of my videos, you know, there's a distribution under a curve. There's a right tail. There's a left tail. Of course, some of the sales aren't going to come through. But anyway, that's my two cents. Uh, I'll put a close on this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, I think it's turning into a political football. I think Steve Burns is becoming Jack Ma. And Lordstown Motors is becoming Alibaba. What do you think? I think it's going to be, I think, uh, the President Schmidt and the uh, temporary CEO uh, are going to make this happen. And I think this truck is, truck is going to launch. And I don't, I don't know. It doesn't look like Rivian is going to make it. So I do believe it's still going to be the first truck. I think it's the best EV. I think it's going to give us a, a, a leg up on the entire world. And we're going to be able to export this truck everywhere all over the world because it's going to be the, the best technology uh, electric pickup truck in the world. And the first one. I really believe that. I think they're going to get it off. Let's see what happens with all this political stuff. I don't know how this ever became a political issue. All right, I'm going to close this video out. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Hi, everybody. This is MXUX. I am just uh, closing out this video. Just want you to know, I think uh, Lordstown is going to do production, do or die. I think Schmidt's going to get everything done, the president. I think they have everything they need to actually get this truck out the door. I think it's better technology than the Cybertruck and the Rivian and the Ford F-150. And I think if it ever gets made, and I do think it will get made, I think damn the torpedoes, they're going to make this truck and get it out. And I think the proof is going to be in the pudding at that point. Uh, I do think this is starting to get political. And uh, I think Tim Ryan, the congressman, ought to get involved. But in any case, this is a high risk uh, investment, guys. It could, could result in catastrophic losses. So you got to be uh, mindful of that. If you're investing, I hope you like the video. Thanks a lot for watching.